in the mighty name of Jesus. That your spirit would minister in the movie today, God, that it was soft in hearts today, that it would open eyes, it would open minds, and it would push aside any any ideas that aren't of you, God. The things that aren't of you may be, ta be taken away in Jesus' name. Jesus. May your Holy Spirit dwell in the movie theater, in the AMC 30 movie theater. May it dwell in each and every corner of the room. Yes. It was ordained before we even bought our ticket, Lord God. You knew exactly who was going to sit where and uh, why. Why, Father? So I just pray over in every individual that's going to see come out in Jesus' name at AMC 30, Lord. I thank you that they'll make it safe and they'll go back home safely as well in the name of Jesus, Father. It was an amazing experience. It's so awesome to see them here and to see that. And now, hey, we're, church, amigo. now we're church buddies. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Setsin Gary Chavez. And for today's video, I'm here with Mr. Joel. <laughs> and Mr. Angel Curl. What's up? <laughs> so we are about to watch the movie Come Out of Jesus' Name, which we have been so excited for for the past few days, weeks, and months. Um, the movie theater is basically packed. We're here, we're thriving, and hopefully they put it online afterwards so that y'all can also watch it. We're so excited, and we're gonna need to hurry up because the movie's about to start in nine minutes and we wanna go buy some snacks, so. Are y'all excited? Yeah, let's do it. Amen. Amen and yeehaw. Goodbye. Aquí tenemos a la Miss Ashley girl. And our new friend. <laughs> and we're waiting for Miss Ashlo. So Miss Ashlo is walking right now. We're gonna vibe out, we're gonna digest what goes on in the movie, and we're just so excited. So Joel was so committed, he was about to hang out with a friend. He was like, no, we're gonna watch come out in Jesus' name, right? Yeehaw! So he plays baseball as y'all kid. See, <laughs> but yeah, this one has a Bible verse in the back. We love that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeehaw. And then we have Miss Ash, little girl, popping in here. <laughs> now we got Brie out here, and she is ready. Look at her shirt. Come out in Jesus' name. Say it louder. Say it louder. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We love that. Y'all, we're getting snacks. We have these going on. Y'all, look at my shirt. It says this shirt is illegal in 53 countries, but not here. Not here. No, not here. <laughs> Period. Never. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey. Oh, and if y'all want to cop the merch, I think you could cop it right here. I think, I don't know. I, I think, we don't know, we don't know. <laughs> What do you got going on? Our mother. But <laughs> our father. <laughs> exactly. It's a conversation starter. Because you know what? Our mother, but our father. Our father. He's the one our that father. matters. You know? I mean, Miss Girl, show us your merch también. Creating heaven on earth. Amen and yeehaw. Oh, Romans. Oh, we all, we all have Romans different 12, gifts. Romans 12, 6. Period. Amen and yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> People in church are full of bondage. And so when a guy like me comes up and says, you know what? Here's what the Bible says on the recipe. Here's the prescription for being freed from bondage. The religious crowd says today what they said then. Oh, no. That's not a message that we preach. That's uncomfortable. It should be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. We're talking about demons. <laughs> We're talking about another yeah. world. We're talking about a devil that was kicked out of heaven, Isaiah 14, Ezekiel 28, and he fell to the earth, and he has done everything in his diabolical bag of magic tricks to deceive people, and the greatest crowd of people he has deceived is the church. Oh no, deliverance is not for today. Well, my question is, where'd all those demons go that Jesus cast out? <laughs> still very much here when Jesus clearly gave me power and authority over unclean spirits and I believe yeah. to deny the reality of deliverance ministry may very well be one of the greatest acts of disobedience in the last days church Without a body. We're in a room of 
of the Holy Spirit like never before. We call it deliverance ministry, but there's no deliverance ministry in the Bible. It was actually cast out demons. Yeah, oftentimes people ask, what are signs I have a demon? How do I know I have a demon? And, and the demons are pro at hide and seek. They're trying to hide. They don't want you to know they're there. So there was a lady that I met in Arizona. She came up to me, a middle-aged lady. She said, I don't know what's going on with me. My hair is falling out. My teeth are falling out. I'm losing my eyesight. I'm getting cataracts over my eyes. Her whole body is diminishing. And again, eat healthy, in shape, never been sick in her life. Nothing's going on. The doctors cannot tell her what's wrong. Do I renounce I all, witchcraft, all witchcraft, known and unknown? And this is a telltale sign of a demon. The doctors don't know what it is. How's a doctor going to diagnose a spirit? So she said, the doctors don't know. There's no, there's nothing they can do for me. They don't know why my teeth are falling out. My hair is falling out. I'm losing my eyesight. So I said, it must be demonic. She said, what do you mean? I said, it has to be a spirit. The doctors can't tell you this must be an unclean spirit. Get off the word now. several hours of deliverance on her and from that day on all the issues with her eyes and the teeth falling out and their hair falling out and all the things she was going through have been resolved she no longer is afraid of burning it weaves into your personality and man it was a radical deliverance we got to see her get set free and her husband believed after he said there's no way that's my wife i said it's not your wife that's a demonic spirit that's hijacked your wife body it's been living in your wife and controlling her and causing her to be sick oftentimes we do see you know demons cause infirmities and for her that was what she needed it wasn't healing was deliverance we will repent and submit to god and resist the enemy put on the armor of god he will flee for us but nobody knows why they need to put it on because if they don't put it on, they're going to be attacked and afflicted and demonized by enemies that are going to oppress them. And then pastors are going to get up and say, you can have love and joy and peace and rivers of living water flowing forth from your belly. And then the average person sits in the congregation and says, yes, maybe everybody but me. Why can't I have that? And my hope is that more and more and more people will stop being embarrassed by something that Jesus did yeah. more than anything else in the entire three and a half years of this ministry. The devil doesn't want us talking about miracles. The devil doesn't want us praising loud. The devil doesn't want us doing deliverance. The devil's fine if you just go to church on Sunday and live the rest of your week like him. He doesn't mind you praising as long as you don't change. The Bible says in Corinthians 4.20, the kingdom of God is not about talk. It's about power and demonstration. He wants to demonstrate his spirit in the earth. There was a young man uh, who came to our church that we brought him forward and we began to do deliverance on him. Set him free now. Set him free. Set him free. One. Two. It, it was a quick deliverance. It was obviously a moment. It was just in a service, in a mass deliverance. Not knowing that he came because he had problems with anger, had problems with rage, problems with unforgiveness. He was a Christian, an evangelist who preached the gospel. But I want to make this clear. He was a Christian. He was a preacher. You know, uh, and a lot of people say Christians can't have demons. And afterwards he wrote us a test. I mean, people were fighting us on Facebook. And then he came on and he said, the man that could have me, I'm totally set free. For some people, it can be as simplistic as having these intrusive thoughts or voices in your head. My grandfather used to say, anything that talks to you is a person. And there are people that actually hear voices in their room or in their mind and they think they're crazy. No, they're not crazy. They're under the influence of a demonic spirit. <laughs>
If you look back over the last few decades, obviously you're going to see a great stark decline in church attendance because people don't trust leadership. People do not trust religion. They don't trust people of faith these days because they've seen everybody fall. They've seen these prominent pastors and evangelists with these huge you know, television ministries fall morally, fall economically. They're stealing the money. They're doing things behind the scenes. Well, here's what I want people to understand. I think there was this massive explosion in the 60s and 70s. There was this movement where the church was growing in militancy. But here's what happened. We used people to build our ministries rather than using our ministries to build our people. When you practice New Age meditation, you are emptying your mind, which, which makes your mind vulnerable to demons. When you are beginning to practice yoga, when you begin to uh, bring crystals, when you begin to focus on witchy boards and all of these other things and believing that Jesus is just the enlightened one, the scriptures are not the Word of God. Scripture is just one of the books. And what you're doing is that you might satisfy your thirst, but at what cost? And then on the other side is the devil comes in and offers this part of Christianity that is not scriptural. A Christianity that has a supernatural without the scriptures, as I mentioned, the toilet water. Christianity that focuses on the coming to Jesus but not carrying the cross. Christianity that focuses on believing in Jesus but not dying to yourself. Christianity that focuses on coming to the cross instead of getting on the cross and dying. Because when you come to the cross you see Jesus. When you die on the cross you see the world. So it's a Christianity that is me, myself and I, which is a demonic trinity. And so and I think that the enemy a lot of times comes in as the angel of light to present people a Christianity that it's all about you. In the New Age, and in yoga, and all of this stuff, there is power, and people are seeking power. They want something bigger than themselves. And so everybody's looking for a higher power. Everybody's looking for spirit guides. Everybody's, you know, on the Ouija board. We did it growing up and thought it was no big deal. We were looking for answers, and everybody's looking for answers that can only be found in the confines and in the context of God's Word. Deliverance ministry should be common. It should have never went away. Paul said it this way. He said, I preach with signs and wonders and miracles so that I know the full gospel is being proclaimed. He said, from here to Lyricum, I preach with mighty signs and wonders. So the gospel is not the full presentation without miracles, without deliverance, and without demonstration. That is the convincing element we've lost. People are no longer convinced of the gospel. And the reason why they're not convinced is because we don't demonstrate it. The convincing element. In John 10, Jesus said, if you don't believe me, believe the signs and wonders that follow me and know that I am in the Father and the Father's in me. The miracles were the defining, proving factor that the gospel Jesus preached was the true gospel. Heavenly Father, yes. Heavenly I, know Father I know I'm a sinner. And I know for my sin I deserve hell and judgment. But I believe tonight that Jesus took my punishment. And the best I know how, I place my faith in Jesus Christ and Him alone for the forgiveness of my sins. All over every one of these theaters, rise from your seats right now. To your feet. Just rise to your feet. I'm going to have you repeat a few things now. This is just like a Sunday night every week here at Global Vision Bible Church in Mount Juliet. I want you to say this. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every evil spirit. I come against every evil spirit. That is in resistance to the deliverance ministry. That is in resistance to the deliverance I ministry. I command them to be bound tonight. I command them to be bound tonight. And rendered powerless. And rendered powerless. Any evil spirit. Any evil spirit. Trying to hinder my freedom in Christ. Trying to hinder. It, my freedom in Christ must obey. Must obey the authority of the name of Jesus. The authority in the name of Jesus. And leave me immediately. And leave me immediately. Satan, I resist you in Jesus' name. Satan, I resist you in Jesus' name. And I'm closing any doors tonight. And I'm closing any doors tonight. Which I or my ancestors may have opened to you. Which I or my ancestors may have opened to you. I renounce you, Satan, and all of your demons. I renounce you, Satan, and all your demons. I 
Lord God that you are my enemy. Right. While we're going through this, here's what I need you to do. I'm going to start talking to the spirit of witchcraft. No doubt it's already manifested in some places right now. I want you right now before God to out loud repent and renounce whatever it is that you've been involved in in any sort of witchcraft. If you've gone to psychic readings, you've had psychic prayers, you've had palm reading sessions, tarot card sessions, you burn candles in some cemetery during a seance or playing games like light as a feather, stiff as a board. If you've ever messed with Ouija boards and things like that, even if you were 8, 9, or 10 years old, right now, just out loud in the theater, say, God, forgive me for this, and you fill in the blank. <laughs> This movie, insane, literally insane. Miss Ashla girl is collecting herself. Me too, y'all. It was a lot to process the amount of deliverances. Oh, glory to Jesus. Now you know. Get your waterproof. Bring, um, yeah, literally bring Kleenex and a soft and hard because Jesus is going to work wonders in your heart. <laughs> y'all, I'm here with Valentina and Jacob. Ray. Grace oh, and baby uh, goat. Hey, there you go. Over there. <laughs> yeah, we just came out from watching Come Out in Jesus' Name. So wholesome. As y'all might have seen, I show clips here and there. But y'all, it was how was it? Okay. Hey, let me shut up. Wait, you go sobbing. You show like the the pirated version on your thing? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I barely watched it at this point, but yes. <laughs> Bro, I was literally like this. <laughs> Hey, free content, right? Um, no, but yeah, it was so good. She had a personal experience. Maybe she'll talk about it soon in her channel. Oh, yeah. But mm. y'all, yeah, so good. good and thank yeah. you, thank you, Ray. Ray hey, that's bright. not the best lighting, but you know what? We're gonna work with it, y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy. Angle, hey, hey, ponte acá, amigo, I'll, please. I'll eh. I'll <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> No, but yeah, it was an amazing experience. It's so awesome to see them here and to see that. And now, hey, we're, church, amigo. now hey. we're church buddies. Oh yeah, hey. they're coming to Rick. If you don't know about Rick, no, y'all yeah, know because I show them movie. Rick. I show them Rick. Y'all know how good of it is, how much I preach about it, and they're gonna be coming through. So hopefully, you'll see them in my channel more often. But yeah, yeah. you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just ate chili. Uh, well, most of them eat a dessert. Had a little snack. Yeah. Snack, yeah. snack. Um, and just digested what happened at the movie, y'all. It was insane. Yeah. Quick thoughts, Miss Ashley. Where do I begin? <laughs> Honestly, the whole movie. Yeah. Chills. See, me too. Yeah. Even from my head, <laughs> like literally, I can just. <laughs> it was just so good. Super powerful. Um, and. I, really, I need to kind of digest it <laughs> by myself with Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I just know that this needs to be heard and, and seen, not just tonight, to more people. You know that I'm missing out. Um, dude, the, there was two people behind me. Uh, they didn't know each other, but they were sitting next to each other. I, me over here, I have the tea. Uh, but one of the guys was like, hey man, I never cry at movies. I never get emotional. And I was tearing and I was like, yeah. that's me. At the end, at the end of the movie, they had like a live mass deliverance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, so many got <laughs> delivered, so many got freedom. Girls, like young youth girls in front of us. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Uh, I'm passing the video so you can like post them. Yes, so yes, 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 do so. And then they pulled a, a woman came out of the, the seat in the stairs, in the stairs, throwing up, just being delivered. It was just amazing. In Jesus' so name. Like, like I said, yeah. I gotta, you gotta digest it right now. Yeah, no, there is a lot to process because we yeah. did pray about it beforehand. Like, God, soften these hearts, remove the veil, like, let them walk in intentionally. You know, like, we are meant to bring light and awareness to what's going on in the spiritual realm that most American churches shy away from. But no longer. Revival is here. And I'm glad that you guys. You're not shying out from the demons or anything. No, 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 no. If you're a Christian, you are, you are capable of delivering. Yes. You know? Have yeah. authority. You carry that armor with you. You have authority in Jesus' name. 
you can cast it out. Amen. You can deliver anybody. Amen. So I, that's like my intake. Yes, so much from that. Anybody so has authority in Jesus' Anybody. name, but also Christians can be demonized, and that is something that you know a lot of people doubt on. But it's because you have opened doors in the past. Girl, it's time to close them. Get delivered. Literally anybody can through the power of Jesus, you know, they have to believe declare that Lord Jesus is their savior and like You have authority in his name. He did it when he was roaming this earth. You can too in his name Let's go. Amazing. Let's go digest Yes. <laughs> Bye <laughs>are to give you guys our honest opinion on the movie on the life deliverance and just and the whole shebang as a whole it was more so like a documentary style which was i feel like the best way to bring light to deliverance in itself because they also targeted like bible scripture in the middle anyway straight to it you guys i mean it was just spitting fire it was spitting facts i didn't know there was going to be a life deliverance did you no not at all like most people were like oh let's hope that when the movie's over like there may be some people manifesting and stuff but we didn't think that greg was actually gonna be on screen and just having us repeat like basically just prayer and casting out all type of demonic doors that we've opened up in the past i don't know if you saw there was somebody on the left like down corner that was the first person that manifested at first. It was like four minutes into the prayer, y'all. She started screaming, and then people rushed over to her, and I mean, they were just praying with her. They were in front of the father and the dad. I don't know if, if Setsy's seen it, but the guy with his son, you know, he was he grabbed his son, he was praying for him. And then a, this random guy came, gave the son a prophetic word, and then they started praying over the son. The son was just crying. Uh, did you see that? I didn't see Yeah, there was even like people being prophesied to. I was like, wow. Like, yeah. It was it was really cool to see like overall like God moving. Yeah. Not just in deliverance but in the whole like operation of, of the spirit really. It was really beautiful to witness all of that. And also keep in mind that this is going on across America in 2,000 theaters. And it was pretty much sold out everywhere, which is why I'm doing another premiere on April 10th and 11th. So if you weren't able to go watch it, I definitely encourage you. We definitely encourage you to go watch it. Take some family, friends your enemies at this point take your pastor invite them because <laughs> it's honestly so good and it's ultimately to bring all glory to god um there was deliverance taking place everywhere and like you said there was prophecy going on taking place i met valentina afterwards and she even said that she got prophesized over that this person was just telling her stuff that were so intimate and so personal that only she knew and it's like how 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 would this person know that doesn't know me but that's the power of the beauty of god really it's just god speaking to you and then you delivering that message and ultimately just giving him you know all glory for it but how are you feeling as you saw all these deliverances because i know it was a very emotional moment we haven't really like digested or i guess vocally but there were tears <laughs> in it. Oh, excuse me i feel like overall you guys it was such an overwhelming feeling to realize that you're in a movie theater that you have countries across the world who wish they could have an opportunity such as this one to watch a movie like a documentary on jesus power and how jesus moved 2000 years ago and how we are meant to be living nowadays it's so surreal I mean, this never, ever happens. And so to see all of this type of revolution with the whole Jesus Revolution movie and now this one, and there's another one coming out pretty soon called His Son or something like that, Thorn Play, it's just a lot going on. It's overwhelming to realize that we're so privileged to be in a country where like it's legal to do these certain things, to have people purchase a ticket and be in an environment with other believers or non-believers that are curious, all glory to God, you know? Um, but it was just so surreal to be standing after in the live deliverance and just watching all these people manifest in Jesus' name. So how would you describe that feeling, Mr. Angel Crawl? Yeah, it was something that I always kind of, I guess kind of wanted is a lot of demonic movies and 
you know, everyone knows. I mean, you don't even have to be a believer to know, like, the Hollywood films and stuff. Like, there's a lot of evil in it. Yeah. And the devil's promoted so, like, highly in, in those movies. So I'm like, why don't they flip the script and include God in all these movies? Like, why don't they, you know, do the opposite of what the devil's doing? And why don't they bring that to film? Why don't they bring that to Hollywood? And then that's what happened. So I was like, it's like, wow, like, something that I've always wanted is like actually happening. Yeah. And I'm sure there's there's like many Christians who, who share the same like desires, you know, to bring Jesus into the movie theaters and the AMC 30, you know, into any movie theater to the public. And it's, I mean, the cool thing about it is it's available for anybody and everybody. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, it's, it's like, it gets to touch people in a way that, you know, they're, they're not expecting it. They're expecting it at church. Right. They're not expecting it through a movie or at a movie. <clears throat> so I think that's pretty cool because it shows like this isn't just a religion. Like this isn't a religion at all. Like it's a relationship with Jesus Christ. Right. And there's power. There really is power in, in Jesus' name. Like you don't have to be in church to experience, you know, the glory of God or the power of God. You don't have to be in church. Like, you experience that in a movie theater. And that's how powerful God really is. And not just any specific theater, but like all over the you know the United States, you can experience the power of God. So yeah, I mean it was beautiful to see. I mean it, it had me in tears because it was just like wow, this is amazing. Like truly, like only God can do something like this. So yeah, I loved it. I think it was beautiful to see a lot of people come to the realization that the church isn't about a building. It's us you know we are the church we as humans and so seeing those people be held accountable to pray for those that are being manifesting uh, at the time um which is so beautiful it was it was a mix of emotions it was like like bittersweet because it's like why haven't we done this a long time ago first off and two it's like it's beautiful to be living and being a part of this revival that's taken place in houston and across america in itself because jesus is coming soon y'all Jesus is coming soon, so I'm just so glad that we had the opportunity to be in the movie theater and to honestly just witness that take place for the first time because, I mean, the premiere is happening again, like I said, next month, April 10th and 11th, so yeah, do check it out. We do encourage you guys to go watch it, to take some friends, to take some family members. We did pray before, as y'all might have seen, uh, so it was me, Angel, and our friend Bree uh, that y'all also seen in the clip and it was so beautiful just to get your mind like centered in the fact that you're about to step into <laughs> something so new and hopefully revolutionary that's going to penetrate people's hearts so we did pray as y'all might have seen for the people that were going to be sitting down for the people that were going to watch it and it was a little uh, heartbreaking I guess you could say to see some people that during the prayer didn't stand up I mean I only saw four and they were all sitting together there were elderly people and usually the elders are more centered into their own ideas and and a little bit more hard-headed so it was obviously something fairly new and I don't know it was just a little bit heartbreaking because when people started manifesting they just like up and left like they were just not having it you know but that is what unfortunately religion does to you and and culture you know it's just like no this this is weird like in their eyes I feel like it's just more of like a theatrical play like that's not serious but I mean you talk to these people that manifested that threw up or that were yelling or shaking uncontrollably and they'll tell you like that wasn't me and I mean we don't even go too far like Angel himself has been delivered and he could tell you straight up that well, you say it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know really much about deliverance until I got delivered. I accepted Christ, and then following, and then I got baptized in water, and then third, I got after the water baptism. Like a month later, I get baptized in the by the fire, um, which is the Holy Spirit. And you know, I was, I was at a at a Bible study, and you know this these two people it was a couple they seen me and they're like you you know they're you're carrying a lot of like uh, you're carrying a lot of like baggage you could say you know like we could see it on you like there's a like, there's a darkness like around you and i was like i was like yeah like i feel it like i i know it's there it's been there for for years long story short they they end up praying over me and they're like uh i, I started feeling like I had, I just felt like there was something in my chest and like it was, it was like something was coming out of me. And they just kept praying and praying and praying. 
and then finally like that feeling in my chest is like it just came up and out and I, I was like man I was like whoa I was like I was like what happened like what is this and then they were just like rejoicing and I was like what are y'all doing and they're like you're free and I was like I was like I do feel free but what happened and then they started explaining like you got delivered. I was like, what do you mean I got delivered? And they're like, how do you feel? And I just explained to them, like, I feel free. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel like on edge. I got delivered from a lot of things. Trauma, PTSD, like anxiety. There's so many things I got delivered from. So it's real, like it's 100% real because I experienced it firsthand before I even knew about it. So it's kind of the opposite. I say it's, a, it's something to experience for sure. Like go and if you're curious about deliverance, if you're curious about the power of God, if you're curious about the supernatural side of Christianity, which not really people talk about, then you should definitely go watch the movie. And it'll it'll definitely open your eyes. And I'd say go with, go with the open mind, go with the open heart, and just see what, what Jesus Christ has for you. Right. So don't be scared about a transferring of spirits because that's not how it works. Like you're set free and I mean you could take your kids. I took my little cousin as y'all seen Hoy. Um I did get his mom's approval, but um that being said, like it it should be something normalized. It should be something for everyone. Jesus is for everyone. And so it's real as y'all seen in the clip, hopefully y'all didn't skip through it, but as y'all seen in the clip, I mean, there is just this crave that humans have of just wanting the supernatural, but they're getting it the wrong way through crystals, through jewelry, through yoga, through dream catchers, through music, through all of these things that seem pretty on the outside, but even celebrities, as you mentioned, you know, like in Hollywood, get so deep in it, and then all they do is hear voices and just start acting weird, and well, obviously it's not them, you know, it's this I didn't even stop recording because I don't see the red dot. Oh no, I do see it. <laughs> I have to be uh, <laughs> And obviously like it's not them. It's the spirits that have just like overcome their mind and overpowered their being as a whole. And it's very sad to see, but there is beauty in the fact that there is freedom in Jesus' name. So come out in Jesus' name. We definitely encourage you guys to go watch it. And it was so wholesome that we got to see Clip It's of Georgia, which is when we went to the conference that they held in right. November. It was very wholesome to see those Clip It's, and I hope y'all didn't skip through them, but it was insane. I mean, the amount of people that were being delivered in this place or spirits that were so deep in people's like being that it took them the last day of the conference. I mean, there were so many people that were coming up to the altar that the pastors just couldn't take it and they went out to the whole crowd and were just like praying over people and people were just falling so this conference held like over 5,000 people and like half of them were on the floor <laughs> it was super insane you guys there is definitely power in Jesus name especially in this generation right now where like you just crave the supernatural and you crave you know just having power baby girl baby boy you do have power but in jesus name it's not about you it's not about you it's about jesus it's about bringing him glory it's about being the hands and feet of christ that we're doing that we're performing all of these miracles and casting out of demons like the supernatural that the church in america has lost sight of <laughs> he's literally crying oh gosh <laughs> all right all these plants bro they're literally fake <laughs> oh, Goodbye. all right, I'm back. Okay. Pastor Vlad and Isaiah and Mike Signorelli and all of them have made reactions to the movie. So I will link them all down below. They're incredible. You guys should definitely check it out. They also um, brought a lot of clarity to questions that, not atheists, but Christians themselves had um, because it is a debatable topic but not really it's in scripture but like you do have to have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ this isn't all fun and games like oh I'm gonna have power in Jesus name now like no be intentional have a relationship with Jesus Christ believe obey seek and watch how you can be used to set other people free for the purpose of you know winning souls to the kingdom which is what matters and which what is our purpose on this earth you guys but yeah all right you guys so that wraps up today's video because it is fairly long i really hope that you guys one get to watch the movie 
Two, don't skip through the <laughs> whole content that I provided and I was like low-key just recording down here <laughs> because it was just so good and I would hate for you guys to miss it if you're not able to get your hands on some tickets. Uh, but yeah, look it up nearby, like I said, April 10th or 11th and yeah, I'll link all the other videos and just reviews and any commentary that any of the pastors have done on their YouTube channels down below, but yeah. Make sure to give it a like, share with some friends, your family members, and drop a comment, any thoughts, any questions. But yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day or night whenever you're watching this. And yeah, hit the little bell button so you're notified for the next time I upload. Bye!